Namaste. Good morning. Welcome to this moment. It's so good to be here with you. I want to share a bit with you today about how to end war. What I'm going to share with you this morning has to begin with you before it can ever reach governments and nations. It has to begin with you. And this is the secret. This mystic secret will be unveiled and will ultimately transform your existence. To end all wars, you must end the war that is within. To end the war that is outside of you, you must first end the war that's been going on inside of you. The story of Adam and Eve has been misunderstood and mistranslated for so long, but it's a story of God in the flesh. It's a story of God animating a body. He creates this all this magnificent and effortless creation pours forth from God and God to this divine essence. Ah, I want to pl to play in creation. I will bring forth a body from out of the ground or out of the God particle, everything has come forth from this essence. And so even the ground, even the earth, and everything in it is a part of your nature. It's a part of, it's come forth from God. It is an energetic form of that thing that is even beyond energy. But it has come forth and and um, God animates this, this divine spark, breathes into Adam the breath of life. And now there's a consciousness, there's pure consciousness wrapped in consciousness, wrapped in perceptional consciousness. And now God is looking through eyes and hearing through ears. He's perceiving, she, it, this awareness, awareness is perceiving as a perceptional existence. While to think that in this moment there is no inside or outside. God is peering into himself when he is with uh, the little monkey or the squirrel or the ladybug or swimming in the ocean with the sharks. He's with himself. He's steer staring into this energy that's come forth from himself and there is complete peace and harmony amongst all things. <sighs> no wars. No fighting. But there's just harmony. Eternal, beautiful resonance. Uh, doesn't it feel good just to be here in this moment, to resonate in this moment with me? It does. It feels good to be with you. And so Adam's experiencing all that. But there's this moment where Adam's has been experiencing many, probably many hundreds, let's just say thousands of years pass by. And he says, man, all of these, all of these creatures that have all this beautiful consciousness, but none of them is conscious in the way that I am conscious, the way that, and he starts to identify his body and mind the way I am conscious. And so putting himself to sleep, going into a physical trance-like state, pulls from within his own nature another body, and then animates this body as well. So now there's Eve and there's Adam. There's woman and man. That's we're just going to call them woman and man. And they're a harmonious blend. They're now dancing together, playing together, enjoying life together. But again, over a course of many thousands of years, they begin to more and more identify as these bodies. And as the consciousness, the perceptional consciousness, instead of recognizing that they are the pure consciousness wrapped. In consciousness and this consciousness that they're wrapped in is not apart from them there is no inside or outside there just feels to be an inside or outside 
this is the illusion of duality. It's not real, but it seems very real. It seems very real that there's a you and a me, that there's an Adam and an Eve, a man and a woman, white and black, American and Chinese. But none of these things are real. They're all concepts, ideas, perceptional awareness or consciousness. What lies just beyond that perceptual consciousness is a pure consciousness that we all share in. So what Adam and Eve are now having, they're experiencing, is they begin to experience this war of, I want to be like God, but I want to also experience this, and I don't know how to do it, and there's this inner war, this inner turmoil happening. Good and evil are beginning to take shape in their minds us and them, you and me, this idea of duality is becoming more and more real. The more that they are blinded by their perceptions, the less they're able to see what is real through a state of pure consciousness, the less they are aware. And so what's happening in this uh, story is actually quite relevant to your life because you've experienced this in your own existence, this inner struggle there's, it's as if you know there's something more, but you're still living in a state of you and me. And this inner struggle is pulling and shifting, and it's the struggle for power, and the struggle for money, and the struggle for fame, and the struggle for relevance, and the struggle for belonging, and the struggle for attention. And this struggle is just going back and forth, back and forth, and it ends up on a governmental level ends up being a struggle for money and power but they're playing with your lives your physical existences and they're sending others to fight and to die for them and so on and so forth and wars are happening there's a struggle the struggle is not real the struggle is illusionary you're struggling with yourself until the war within your own nature comes to an end until you re and that only comes to an end in the realization that there is no outside or inside of yourself. Embrace, accept, become aware of, observe, is what I like to tell my students, that outer existence. But know that it's not the real you, nor is it the false you. And in this doing this, what ends up happening is we end up being able to slip effortlessly into this state of peace peace is your most effortless state this is a high this is the high that must awaken in our existence to end wars when war ends in you this is a freedom and a peace that cannot be taken by anyone and when it ends in you and then it ends in another and then it ends in another and then you see this is a continuous thing that is taking place within our own nature all around so now when I stare into your eyes I don't see another but I see myself I see God but I can only see God when I look into your eyes if I'm able to see God in my own nature but I will never see God in my own self until there's no longer a self that is identified that identified self, that perceptional world, that must, must be realized to be not real for me to really recognize the divine in myself and to see the divine spark in you. And so all of this is taking place. How do we in war? We in war when this, this is spread throughout the cosmos, pervaded throughout the cosmos as a beautiful fragrance and aroma. And at some point, the more people that realize there's no us and them, there won't be anyone to fight the wars for those with money. There won't be anyone left to fight the wars for those with power. And when there's no one left to fight because we realize we're one, I can't fight with myself. A little personal story. A handful of years ago, some uh, people decided to slander and try to tear down the story of Silas. Well, Silas has no reputation to be mindful of. And I'm not living under any laws. And I'm not afraid of what anything that you can do to me or take away from me. But this slander ended up actually costing us financially, my family financially, quite a bit. But it was kind of kind of cool. I had people, I had lawyers coming to me saying you should sue them. And, uh, and I said, well, I can't sue them. Said, Why can't you sue them? You have a case here. It would be an easy win. And I said, because that would be to sue myself. 
cannot see them. They say, well, defend yourself then. And I said, I can't defend myself. I would have to fight against myself to defend myself. There's no self here to defend. <laughs> and this wasn't something that had to be thought of. This was my effortless response because you and I are one. We've always been one. Those that slandered me, we're one. Those of you that have hated me, we're one. And I love you. Wars end when the war ends here. Then there will be no more war out here. Come to this place of peace now. Return in your mind. Stop all the thinking. Return in your mind with me to this moment. Just be here with me. See, in this moment, there is no war here. There's just God staring into the face of God. I love you. Drop whatever questions, comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, like, share with your friends, your family. And let's shift global consciousness together.